No surprise here. Charlie King and Cyro for our competitors. And honestly, I expect we I expect to see five games on Pokemon Stadium too. Okay, good start coming from Cyro. Oh, I like him waiting out for the air dodge, but Charlie was able to get his shield quick enough with the ledge. Ledge trap continue from Cyro. Yeah, that's not gonna clip. Unfortunately, the eruption's not gonna be enough. Probably able to escape falling there, but jab back air. A good recovery from Charlie. Charlie boy. Okay, you know Charlie's probably feeling that one. Losing a stock from side B at center stage. It was at a over 100%, so it's not exactly surprising that it killed, but knowing how Charlie feels about this character, yeah, I'm sure it's uh, exhausting, to say the least. Okay. Try to get a tech chase with an f tilt, but Charlie is unable to find it. There's another jab to side B. Even catching Charlie's second jump, yes, has to go off stage. That's something we weren't exactly seeing um, Paper do too often against Charlie, so Charlie may be feeling a little bit more comfortable recovering from far away. Okay, Charlie just body blocked Cyro. Just pushed him back a little bit. Make sure those magnet hands don't come into play. Quick way to answer for a stock. Oh, I don't think Charlie realized that Cyro lost his second jump. Either that or he just wanted to pull back and try and two frame with the F-Tilt. Both are smart options. Preferred, would have preferred to see him run off Nair and get the trade, put Cyro into a free fall, because then it just puts him in an even worse situation. Okay, direction on air dodge, and I'm probably going with the down smash for Cyro answering back in the end. So, oh, there's a jab into another side beat. Love when Roy's use the up, use up for uh, the last hit of the double edge dance because puts their opponent right above them which they're able to strike the landing and try and even capitalize into more damage. That's not for the ledge. So safe. Probably abusing it. And the second hit of a smash is going to put Cyro into the skies, evening up the stock. 1-1, one, one, but 85%. I think, uh, I think Charlie's just one good, one good hit into Confirm into side B, and that should be the game. We see run across the stage. Jab. Okay, now Charlie answering back, getting a platform extension. A couple up airs into a Nair. He's calling Nairs. Getting shielded. We see a lot of shield pressure coming out from both players, but a back air. And what is this? We have a completely different game, but no tech will cost Charlie game one. Now, So Cyro able to fight back and not lose control of game one. Charlie was able to bring that, bring it back stock-wise, even, even percent-wise. I believe it even like went into Charlie's favor for just a bit. For a couple of four days, but of course, Mr. Charlie is going to whip the grab. See an up beat from the ledge. That's a pretty smart option for Roy uh, on Pokemon Stadium 2 because he can reset on the platform, which will put a lot less free fall and lag on that option. So, Roy, if you don't utilize it, and you don't, don't spam it, but you know, keep it in your pocket. It's a good option. He's falling there, but doesn't have the tech chase. Wave bouncing. Wow, okay, wave bouncing, using the second jump to get back on the stage, and continuing to throw out double edge dance. Cyro loves his side beat. Like he uses it more than most Roy's. But good good leg trap from Charlie King, dropping down with the Nair. And that was the Nair I was talking about earlier. You know, sometimes it's just good to take the trade, especially when you have these multi hit bad recoveries like Roy's. Like, you're going to get hit. Hit, yes, but we just gonna get hit like a, for a little bit of amount of damage, but Cyro will take the full brunt of it. Okay, another side beat from Cyro. 
Couple of up airs, and that was a jump, but Charlie does not continue. That might cost him uh, might cost him more than he thinks. Okay, falling up air, and there's a couple of up airs from Cyro. Charlie realizing his second jump, making it very difficult to tell when he's going to approach or even going to opt for the platform landing. Okay, sneaking in there. Ooh, okay, very smart from Charlie. Does not try and challenge the recovery of the eruption. <laughs> Cyrus spot side B's from Cyro, but guess what? It's going to make him retake stage control until we see a neutral get up into up smash from Charlie the King. Nair into down throw. Up B out of shield. The more I see Cyro use up B out of shield with Roy, the more I try to think like, maybe hey, his option ain't so bad. You know, got a lot of flack at the beginning of the game. He said it was really easy to bait out and then bait out and then punish it. But regardless, Cyro's making it work. So you can nail one into jab back air. That's been taking stocks for five years now. Five more years, we hope. They need to be. Jab back air. No. Okay. Wow. Little rage, only a little bit of rage one necessary. That at 100% after taking a hit means he got hit below 80. That's crazy. Okay, is this is the time? No, no, of course not. Definitely gonna want not want to bring out Fox against Roy. Negative. Okay, here we are. Game three. Immediately starting with the double edge dance with good rate of attack from Charlie. He knows that Cyro was trying to fish for an up air and convert into possibly two or three more up airs. Okay, there's another down throw. Good tech in place. Gonna whip the up air, but the up air swings continue from Cyro. Does not care. Man, it's crazy. Okay, so that's kind of unfortunate for Charlie. He lost his second jump to Cyro spot up air, which uh, normally wouldn't be good for Cyro, but it knocked back Charlie just a little bit and kept him uh, in the juggle. This allowed, this allowed Cyro to drag up that much more damage, but uh, he lost his second jump somewhere in that exchange. And then from center stage, he's going to take his stock up smash and followed by another up smash. Cyro is looking for a man trying to get something started. Get a couple of down tilts we're on expecting, especially with uh, Wolf being at a higher percent. If you're able to get a sour spot down tilt, puts you into a really good tech chase situation. Hey, someone rose. Um, but another down smash from Charlie. Charlie is on fire right now. If you didn't catch the other set, you probably. If you did catch the other side, you probably heard me looking like Charlie has two, two play styles. He's got patient, and he's got I'm going in, we're going to end the game in the next three minutes. And right now, he's definitely looking like he's playing the, the ladder. He wants to put as much number as he can on the screen, push all the buttons while still trying to wait with punish his opponent. And now we're trying to see him pull back a little bit. While Cyrus swings like a madman, of course, charging the outsmash just a little bit. It's going to be a two stock here in game three. Two, one, Cyro. Okay, moment of truth. Are we going to go back to Pokemon Stadium 2? Is it going to be Battlefield or possibly? Nope. No, uh, no Smash Bros. Rip Smash Bros. Whatever happened to Smash Bros? Didn't people like that? that stage everyone's sick of it now that's crazy y'all crazy that, that stage is fine all right game four who would have guessed it oh wait i guessed it nah, um, pokemon stadium 2 okay good extension on the platform that was like four up arrows into a nair 78 percent onto cyro it's a good start for charlie king now Char or cyro looking for something similar with that uh, up hit Probably try to be cheeky again and push Cyro back. 
may get the body block, but should Yeah, that works. Let's go down to up here, landing with a down air to poke through the stage and convert into an up smash. Fortunately, Kasairo gets the sour spot up air. Not in the correct position, they really capitalize off that, but Kasairo able to make it back to stage after getting hit the wrong way from there. Oh, F tilt at the ledge. That's going to take the stock with a good amount of rage and Charlie being at a high percent. No surprise there. Now back to the neutral game. Ooh, saw the, saw the air dodge. Charlie was kind of punished with the air instead of a back air. Looks like he was fishing for a back air, too. Jab into double edge dance. Jab into Nair. Charlie stuck at the ledge. Oh, he's able to escape. Thanks to a full hop Nair. He takes stage control. Oh, Tomahawk in the wrong way. It's fortunate for Charlie, but he was able to escape without being punished. Oh. And of course, up tilt coming out very fast for Charlie King. Sometimes, you know, Wolves, they don't really uh, abuse that move too much. Sometimes I forget it exists. And a very unhealthy shield. Of course, Charlie's going to want to back away uh, just enough so that he's able to regain the health on the shield. By chasing Cyro off stage, we seen do it again. You know, he's trying to lift trap with an F tilt, not going to find it. Now Cyro stuck at the lip a little bit. Okay, yep, swipes him up. Now falling there, that's going to be the game. Two, another two stock from Charlie King in game four. Okay, game five. Pokemon Stadium two. Let's see it. Lock it in. Do it. Push the button. Do it. No. Where are you going? Go back. Whoever's texting Cyro, tell him to go to Pokemon Stadium. No. No. <laughs> I almost predicted it. Oh, well. All right. Game five. Battlefield. It's actually going to be pretty interesting for both players because they're both able to really utilize the platform to their advantage. We're going to see both players being able to extend combos with up airs and forward airs. So essentially, if we see someone land an aerial, we should see some big numbers on the board. As you can see, the jab only converting into 23. Where's the fishing? Where's the striking? Up tilt, poking through the stage. Net tilt from Charlie. Look at that. One hit, 50 damage. And with this being a smaller stage, yep, yep, that down smash is just going to cover that much more. Zero percent on Cyro because he already got lost in stock in a matter of seconds. Okay, there's the extension, but the down air does, in fact, poke through the platform. Oh, we see the trade. There's a good tomahawk throwing. Throw in Charlie off stage. Oh, that should be in the back here. Come on, Cyro. Okay, sorry. I see what Cyro was looking for there. Most of the time, Wolves will throw out F tilt, especially in that position when they roll behind you. But a good back air from center stage is going to clean up that stock. Double dash attack from Charlie the King. Up B out of shield. Look at that. That sweet option coming in clutch again for Cyro. Look at all these aerials, too. Oh no, where are you going? That was supposed to be a ledge trump. Oh, okay, good direction on air dodge. You saw, you saw the uh, the jump option from Cyro. Uh, but you definitely don't want to challenge that fully charged S smash at the ledge. Falling there from Charlie the King, but unfortunately for Cyro, committed to the double edge dance and trying to get a shield poke, didn't find it, and the Charlie was able to clean up another stock with S smash, putting Cyro on his last stock for winners finals, fighting for his winners finals life. Poke in with the forward arrow, gonna convert easily into that up tilt. Oh no, where are you going? Man. Cyro's having such a difficult time getting off this ledge. Down throw, Reed looking for the back air. Okay, Cyro recovers high. The counter gonna send Charlie to the left instead of into the stage. Very interesting choice.
Okay, oh, oh, the gamer tech. Gotta say one. Okay, forward throw, trying to get the extended up tilt. Very smart, down tilt. Retake center stage. Back throw from Cyro. Now we see Charlie nearing from the ledge. Another nair out of shield. Now we see Cyro in a similar situation. Where's it gonna be? Forward. Okay. Okay, gets the up air. Covers the entire platform, apparently. Okay, B reverse. Making sure that. Okay, doesn't have to expend his second jump, but now he has to use the second jump. Forward tilt not gonna be able to catch. Oh, now it's go time. Couple, couple of nairs landed. Okay, up air, single up air, falling up air, more up airs. Charlie the King still looking for a dash stack at the ledge. Only a full air is able to connect. So you say F tilt at the ledge. There's the F tilt! And it's enough! Charlie 3 0 Cyro, you first 3 0 Cyro. Congratulations, Charlie, keeping his composure throughout all of Winner's Finals. Even though I know he hates playing against his character. And he was able to retake Winner's Finals. The king is back. The king.